Okay, how how is best for me to what what should I say when you're showing? <laughs> Like your honest opinion. Show, show the camera, then yeah. you can show me. Hey Welcome guys. back. Welcome back, even though some of you are probably new here. Yeah, but if you watch our first video, awesome. Thank you for returning. I mean, yes. gener we really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, if you're not subscribed, hopefully by the end of the video, you will be subscribed. We're going to go through a thrift haul that I did, uh, with Kendall not there and she hasn't <laughs> seen any of the items yet. Um, she's seen yes. like some of the brands and stuff. I posted like a, like a tag shot on Instagram. So she's seen that. I've seen a little bit, but I, I do not know what she spent on anything. Yeah. I do not know all the brands. So I'm excited to see because Serena thrifting alone can be dangerous, <laughs> in but also in a really good way. So yeah, I have I have low impulse control. I am impulsive, but I also really I second guess myself a lot. I'm like, okay, maybe I should just like not get any of it. Yeah, because I no, get nervous. I feel like that after I've already purchased it. So yeah, and you can't return. So yeah. um, all right, okay. so we're gonna dive in. I will tell you ahead of time that the average cost for each item was a little higher for this, um, but we've been hitting a lot of half price days. But our yeah. average cost for this haul was seven dollars. That's not bad. Not depending terrible. on what you got. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. And like I said, Kendall really hasn't seen it so i'm just yes. gonna we're gonna dive right in uh and if you haven't watched our other video hopefully you could go back and watch that if you want but this is very experimental we are just starting to resell on poshmark yes um i had an old account that i kind of like resurrected but when i mean old account like i used it in 2000 and like 15 it's been 16. a minute yeah so it's been yeah. a really long time since i've resold on that platform kendall resells on ebay with her husband but they do mainly men's clothing and so this so is like, like a nice change of pace for me because i love looking at women's stuff for myself and so it's nice now that we actually can go out together we're cousins yes by the way i didn't mention that but yeah we're cousins it looks like we might have a friendly pooch joining us <laughs> um that wants to be a part of the ladies but we're going to dive in, Serena. Yeah. We'll make sure to show you the brand, too, um, that we got. All right. So we're going to go here. Uh, let's see. Okay. Judy Blue Pants. Judy Blue Jean Pants. Here this is my see. favorite brand. I'm really glad that you got these, Serena. Yes. Uh, these were great. Uh, they're 27s, too. Which is a great size. Yeah. I knew you would like those. Yeah. That's I love, love, love buying Judy Blue even on eBay, we do not sell really women's clothing, but I will pick up Judy Blue to sell on eBay. So I'm confident that this was a good buy. These do sell for minimum $28 and they can go upwards of 40. It just depends on kind of the style. Okay, next item. This one is a little odd. I don't know if this was a good thing or a fail on my part, but we're gonna see. There are seven for all mankind dojos. Dojo is great, but Serena. they're weird dojos. Okay, so we have <laughs> Seven for All Mankind and Dojo, so you could see the tag there. The reason I say they're, I'm, maybe they're like an older model because, like, I don't know. Like, look at the okay, the back pockets. I like these, Serena. I've never the seen the Dojo jeans are great, and because the Dojo flares that have that wide, like, maybe all Dojos are yeah. flared. Yeah, but. These are good. Like these well, are the, the better ones the, to get. The back is kind of fraying too though. Yeah. But they are they're they're well loved. Yes. I mean, to me, it wouldn't bother me, but no. I can understand how for some people. Also, I've never seen a dojo with this kind of pocket before. Yeah, that's a very interesting pocket. So, so. these need more research. Basically well, I think what? I think that they'll I think they'll do well. And for nine ninety nine, I mean, I probably would have also spent nine ninety nine on dojo All right. jeans. So. so we're two for two. Okay, I'm not mad about this one, Serena. Perfect. I'm I'm happy. These are unique. Okay. The next thing I bought for myself, but they did not fit. <laughs> so they're in the thrift pile. There are a pair of page jeans, um, size 27. They are really nice, like kind of like a dark wash, no holes and a flare. Yeah, 
Paige Jeans, we These have... were 30% off. I do remember orange tags. Okay. Orange were 30% off. Orange tags were 30% off. Green tags were half off. Okay, so these were about seven then. Yeah. We are kind of experimenting with Paige because I think some of their stuff does really well and then some just doesn't. Yeah. So we're kind of figuring out running comps on Poshmark we have found is already a little bit challenging just in terms of seeing, you know, how quickly stuff sells, but. All right, next item. Another pair of Judy Blues. I'm These happy. are black uh, skinny fit size 27s. I so, love these. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. I haven't these. seen um, a black pair yet. I feel like I've sold a couple of black pairs, but again, they sell so quickly. So, yes, I mean, I'm really happy that you bought these. Yeah, this brand's new to me. Kennel's the one that told me about it. So. They're all over TikTok. Really? All over TikTok. Like, people, it, they're the craze of TikTok. Maybe, like, six months ago, but people haven't given up on them yet. They're so. really soft. Like, I can understand the appeal. Okay. <laughs> Next, another pair of Judy Blues. <gasps> um, these ones have some distressing. They are the boyfriend in a size 29 these are nice yeah these are really cute like the uh raw or i guess like now it's just like the like frayed fray. hem yeah yeah so yeah like, i cute love these okay yeah. great i love these good, good see so serena far. was good <laughs> all yeah, right these are great next thing this is a brand i won't say it's new to me but i've never resold it it is called sunday best i think they sell this at aritzia I think it is a Ritzia. It's kind of like, what is this, velour? Yeah, it's like Just a velour Just like cute type little, type yeah. Track, like these they are, kind of look like track pants in a way, but they're flared. They're an extra small. These are nice. I comfortable. Would, I think I would have bought these. The comps on them are pretty decent. Like not like we're hitting it out of the park, but I was like, I like them. Yeah. I wish I could, I, I see people find a Ritzia all the time. They do have a lot of different brands. I'm not as familiar with all of them. Uh, all I know is like Babaton, yes. and then there's another one with a W. I would know Wilfred. If I, Wilfred. Yeah. I would know if I saw them. Yeah. But if <laughs> when it comes like if I my life depended on it, I don't think I could tell you anything. Yeah. About it. Um. Okay. Next item. Glad you bought these. Those were also a win. All right. We have a We the Free, which is a Free People brand, and they're size 26, and they are like oh. super bell bottom, like oh. just. These are good. <laughs> I sold these in gray for like $35. I could these not walk great. away from these. these I'm were, glad you didn't. Like just like a stretchy spandex waist, like the back pockets. I'm like, oh, these are. Yeah. And they're pink. Yes. It's giving Barbie. I, it's giving oh my I'm God. going to a rodeo. <laughs> yes. It's telling me it's aw They're great. This I'm is, glad you bought these. These are, okay. <laughs> Yay. The fact that you said Barbie, I'm like, oh. If you did anything else, this is like your one get out of jail free. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Consider these your get out of jail free. Okay. Card. Next item. This is a brand that's new to me. Um, I felt the leggings. I'm like, okay, these seem really high quality. They seem thick. Uh, and but I, there's no inside tag. And I was like, what the heck? And so I was looking for a Lululemon logo. Is it this S59? Yes. Okay. It's very minor. <laughs> it is. It's so really hard S, to... It's S. It's the letter S and then 59. You, you probably won't be able to see, but it's on the yeah. bottom. It's kind of reflective. So you looked them up? I did look them up. And I don't know. I it. forget what the brand name is. It's not Saints. It's like something i have to like google it again but okay. they do really well they are expensive the comps i think were pretty good it's just like a lululemon type-esque brand they Gosh, what feel is it i'm gonna look they, it right now they feel very nice so i mean i probably would have looked them over but i don't know i don't i'm not great at research Okay, splits 59. Splits 59. How much, what's the MSRP on them? The MSRP, I couldn't find that specific pair, but they range from like anywhere like from like. Like It's Lululemon prices up to what I saw was like 138. Okay. So. Okay. I figured it would be good to experiment. Those Stay tuned. Really We're going to post little kind of like what sold style videos, yes. but maybe like once a month, we'll be able to show you guys all the fun stuff that has sold. Hopefully things so. Tons of stuff. Go shop our store. <laughs> we right. need support. Okay, this next brand also new to me is uh, We Wore What? Now there is a know it. different brand called, okay, I think there's another brand that has like 
three W's. It's not we who, were what, what, where. Who, what, where. Yeah, I know who, what, where. Who, what, where is not good, though. I know. And so, <laughs> for whatever reason in my head, I just was like, I've seen this brand out before, and I think I just um, basically I went over I loved that it. hand in the back. That was, that was iconic. I think... Um, we wore... I don't I know. I skipped it. over it because I think my brain just like associated that brand... With, I was like, oh no, but this is a completely different brand. Is and it good? Yes. So okay. if you see this, I mean, look up the comps for the, again, We Wore What. That is a brand. So we'll look up these, put them on our okay. store, list them. We'll see how they do. Again, new to me brand, but. No spaces or dots or anything. Yeah. And they're size small, so they're a good size. And look at this. They have like I mean, a they, cute little look. They feel logo. nice. They are, yeah, like they're thick. Yeah. I also really like that color. I'm a sucker for this color if you can't see the throw pillows yeah. behind us. I love that just like little orangey rust, okay. that bright brown weather. Next, this is a pair of Free People. So Free oh, People, FP Movement, which is Free People. I liked these mainly because like it had this really cool waistband, like this Does kind of over? mesh. Or just double? I think you can fold it over or... I don't know. I don't know. They're interesting, pretty patterned. These are definitely unique. Yes. So, and I love Free People Movement. They are, yes. they have really good stuff. Their stuff holds and up like, well, too. Here's what the logo looks like on the... It kind of looks like a blue it. bonnet or like a flower of sorts. I don't yeah. really know what it is. These are so busy, it's probably hard to see it in the video, but yeah. yeah. These are really, really cute. You can go on our Poshmark store and see. But yeah, FP Movement is what it looks like inside. I really think that their logo is a blue bonnet. Maybe we live in Texas, so I think yeah. it's a blue bonnet, but I, I really think it, it might be. be. I think they're, these are nice. All right, these need a good lint roll in. <laughs> but uh, these were, so the thrift store I went to yesterday had all of their Lululemon marked up. And so like, I think I saw a tank top. It was like $29.99 and I was like, whew, top Not dollar. Happening. This was $2.99 and it was 30% off because it was an orange tag. But I saw these, I was like, I know this, the style. It's Lululemon. Serena is an avid Lululemon connoisseur. I can just, I she find just it. Yeah, I'm a magnet. Um, And then again, like... You can always look for the size dot. This one, it does not have it. I know this is an older style. Yeah. Um, but like yeah, they have this cute layer. Crop layer. Something or others. Yeah. So. Um, well, and they were on sale, which means that no one caught that for a while. Yes. I am the Lululemon hunter. Definitely need to lint roll them. Yes. I'm glad you bought these though. That was a great price. All right. Next, uh, this is Spanx. These are kind of like their leather moto That's pants. Nice. These, I did run comps on these. I think I saw most of them seem to be selling in the $50 range, but this was like their best seller, apparently. I don't know if that's Dang. still the case, if I have outdated information, <laughs> but we're going to find out. They're a size small, and yeah, they're just like these kind of like moto leather pleather like spandex leggings. Okay, I'm glad you bought these. I'm not mad about this. How much we spent? Uh, I can't remember, but I don't think it was, it was, I think less than five. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is more the style I was thinking whenever I was doing research on yeah. them. Just not like a basic legging, but these are nice. All of the ones of that I saw on Poshmark that were like, those were sold. So I think. I love, I love sold. Yeah. All right. Not active. This is a big haul. So if you need to come back and like take breaks. <laughs> Take breaks if you need to. All right. These are like a camo, um, what do you call these? They're like a chino pant um, yeah, with like the flat front pockets. These were really in last summer. I know Target made a ton of stuff like this, and they're still going to do yeah. really, really well. These are Anthropology. Those are cute. I thought they were adorable. Size 26, so that's a good size. Yeah. But yeah. These are nice. Here's the back. We'll see how they do. Yeah. Um, we actually have a couple more like this that yeah. we bought over the last week. And so we'll we'll see how they do. But they're, I mean, they're camo. And yeah. They're really cute. I okay. Like this. Next up, we have the Wedgie Straight. It is Levi's Wedgie Straight. They're kind of like gray. Those are really nice. They're cute. I love them. Size 25. They do have this button fly here. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I thought these were cute. I was like, hmm, all right. When I was researching, um, one girl who she has a huge Poshmark store, she said that the wedgie jeans do really well for her. Yeah. I, I just heard... didn't want to, I didn't want to spend, I think there was one, but it was a really weird size that we saw when we were out the other day. Yeah. I was like, 
I don't know if I want to spend that right now, but straight jeans are also super hot right now. Yeah, I know the wedgie. So I think only some of the Levi styles do really well. Like I know the 501s are decent. The rib cage, I haven't sold them, but I've heard those are good. And then the wedgie. The wedgie. So I would definitely research on what styles are. And if they're vintage, I mean, that helps, right? Oh, yeah. So th that's a whole other plethora of things. Okay, next up, these are Free People brown leather pants. Those are so cute. Size 26, and they're like, um, are they gosh, fleece lined? I think they are fleece lined. Is that? They're, I don't there's even... something. I, I don't know if that's fleece, they're but warm. they're, they're warm. Like, they and are... soft on the inside. Yeah. But yeah, Free People size 26 brown yeah we'll see vegan how, leather <laughs> we'll see how free people does for us we're kind of experimenting but we mentioned this in a different video but we're really focused on styles brands are important to us because we don't want to be just buying like old navy and yeah. target we're not going to do that but i mean this is these are real i mean this is a nice pair of pants yeah. so i know these were expensive new and leather pants are super in yes i don't i mean i know we're hitting summer soon but still all right these were okay next we have a pair of tory birch super skinny jean okay so, Tory Birch in the South is really big. The tag. They are a size 26. They're kind of like a burgundy. Yeah. I would say. Like a, yeah, maroonish. They're very long. Wine. The, yeah, the inseam on these, these are tall. Yeah. Okay, I'm excited to see how Tory Birch does. Obviously, they're Those best known crazy for their expensive sandals. Either. They weren't really like marked up. These are really long. Yeah. I mean, These are nice. I like to, I really like to cuff my jeans. Yeah. Um, maybe that's because I'm kind of on the shorter side and a lot of jeans are um, long, long, even if they're like regular. Okay. These, a pair of frame denim. I'm glad you got those. They are a weird size though. They are a 23. Yeah, but I feel like on Poshmark, the demographic on there, I think there are a lot of high school mm -hmm. girlies. And so I was, n I don't remember a time I was ever 23. <laughs> I swear I was like in size like XL for kids. And then I was suddenly at 26. I'm yeah. like, whoa, it, just, <laughs> it happened. But I think that there's definitely someone out there that is yeah. this small. And Frame is, Frame is an expensive brand. Yeah. So. Lehigh Skinny Frame and Denim. So yeah, got that nice. back. Just skinny jean. We'll see how these go. Very stretchy though. I know the sell-through rate on frame jeans is pretty low, but I know that the sale price is fairly high. So yeah. I think that they're always worth I feel like if we price them at the right level. Competitively. Yeah. All right, next, another pair of Levi's. These are the rib cage straight ankle in like a size black. So right Color here, black. Yes, yeah. size black. <laughs> and this like, also has the button fly, which is super popular. These um, are so yeah. What size are they? They are size 24. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it will never be me. <laughs> Not for me, but they are adorable. That's the one thing I do like Levi's. But you ever heard that saying? It's like, okay, these are my standing jeans because you can't like sit, sit down. In them. Yeah, yeah, like Levi's really do, do not have spandex in them. And so, so you're not sitting in them. Like they'll fit me. I'll like put them on, but then I sit down and I'm like, I'm like, feeling I'm being like sawed in half by the waistline. Um, but it's wedgy and straight. It's wedgy and straight. So I was like, heck yeah. Yeah. I'm really optimistic about these too. This was a good find, Serena. Or rib cage and straight. Yeah. Like, rib. Oh yeah. Rib cage. We had wedgy earlier. Yeah. These are nice. And with the button fly. How am I doing so far? Serena's doing really well. <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed. Yes. I, I think a lot of this stuff, I would have definitely been on the fence of like, should I just buy it? Yeah. Cause I'm, again, I'm very big price focused, very frugal. But also when we're just starting out, we have to experiment a little bit yeah, and just see yeah. like what's the max we should be paying for this because it takes a while to make listings yeah. and take pictures and go through the energy. So All right. That I'm was impressed. one bag down. Now we have, now it's the real intermission. Like, yes. Um, okay. This is something that I also bought for myself. <laughs> And then I was like, ah, I don't know. I'm really weird about like fabric and texture and stuff. This is actually Adidas, but it's so freaking cute. Like it's just this kind of like That's cream nice. colored, like Adidas has this nice like stitch logo. And I was that like, that might make cute photos, content, like with a like little, little photo ideas. Yeah. With like a high neck. So yeah, just like a little Adidas. 
We have an Instagram page. We mentioned that on the last one, but we have been doing some really fun little style pictures or little haul pictures so people can actually go on there, follow us if you have an Instagram, and just see the kind of stuff that we're buying because then you can shop, you yeah. know, from there. All right. The next item I did take an L on. So. What is it? <laughs> okay, okay. You have one get out of jail free. Right. Okay. So this is um, Marmot. That brand's not awful. And it was $6.99, 30% off. Marmot, like, nice, like, zip-up jacket. And I was all about it until then I got home and it has the Purina logo on it. The logos don't always matter, though, Really? Serena. I'm if like, going, like a... maybe someone really likes Purina. You know what I mean? And they're all about it. And they're like... If, like, so we sell a ton of Patagonia on eBay. Yeah. And if the logo is not as bold like a lot of yeah. stuff i mean like this, this is on the arm this is yeah and this is on the arm and if it's a good brand people are still going to get it it does devalue it right yeah. like, i'm never going to negate that but definitely not mad about it being a yeah. marmot jacket nice like zip up you have the marmot is it marmot on. or mammoth mammoth marmot there's two there's marmot and mammoth they're oh both no, they're both good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, they're both good, but All right. I think the other so, one's better. If you really love Purina. Hey. <laughs> hey. I mean, this could be yours. It's nice. I looked up, I think, uh it like the MSRP was about a hundred dollars for this. I thought it was nice. Yeah, I mean we'll cozy. We'll get it we'll get it out quick. We'll we'll accept a, we'll accept a reasonable offer, you know, if we're feeling a little excited. Yes. And it's pretty colored. It's really bright. Not terrible. No, it's not terrible, but... Could be better. It All is. right. Next item is a mod cloth sweater. I actually loved... I thought it was That's adorable. That's pretty. It is, like, if you look at this, it's kind of like a knit sweater, and I'll show you the mod cloth yeah. logo here. I've heard good things about mod cloth. It's on my list from a lot of research that I did. I did hear that their yeah. blazers and their dresses do really well. It's soft. Oh I thought it's a really gosh. cute style, and I was like, and if, it's, if it doesn't work out for us, like, I will wear this. All for the work. Time. Like, yeah, I'll and like sit in my office because I'm always cold. I'm like, I would It wear could this. make an appearance on the channel. Yeah. This, this is really cute. thought that was cute. And that was a really good price. I don't remember exactly what I paid for it, but it was like really good price. I don't know where they sell mod cloth either, but. I want to say anthropology. Maybe. Anthropology sells everything. Okay. They not sell. This is, I picked this up. I should have done more research. The jacket is really nice. It was, I paid too much for it. It is called. Millard Fillmore, which is a president, but also apparently a clothing brand. It is like a really solid, nice trench coat. And it kind of reminded, I, actually I think this was sold at Anthropology when I did my research after the fact. But I don't know, maybe we could still probably get like 40 or 50 from it. Okay. It's like a canvassy, it's nylon-y, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's very soft. Yeah. What inspired you to purchase I don't, it? Did you just like the style? <laughs> Reckless abandon. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's actually it's a really nice jacket, and it's a small, so it felt like really good quality. And I was like, this is a nice jacket. I also think absolute worst case scenario, we either break even or we keep it. Yeah, and wear it sometime. All right, next I item. Like the color. We are doing Title Nine. Title Nine. I hear great things about Title Nine. I told Serena it kind of looks like a waffle the, like, that has like the little circles. All right. But a lot of people that I have researched on YouTube pick up this brand and they get excited when they find it. It's like my excitement with Judy it's Blue. Soft. They sell a ton of stuff. They sell dresses, sweaters, skirts. We picked up a couple of their skirts the other day. This is a nice little purple zip up. It is a women's size medium. I have not run a comp on any of the Title IX <laughs> stuff. So maybe people are just playing jokes. But no, but truly, I have heard really great things about this brand. So I'm I'm really excited. There's this girl on YouTube. I don't remember her name, but she has twins, and she sells a ton of that. Interesting. And she, it's like one of her bread and butter items. Okay. So. Next up, a camo jacket. It is made well. Oh, that's cute. And it's a size medium. It's cute. It's lightweight. It's like good summer, you know, just like a little made. That's jacket. a nice layer. Yeah. 
Why did you look at me like that, Serena? Because it's just camo. Like, this is, like, very camo. You know what I mean? But that also, camo there's, always has is, a moment. It always, like, filters back in style pretty quickly. People like, wear like, camo all the time. I know. I don't think it goes out of style. I think there's just very specific people that look good in camo. But Madewell I'm jackets? Not, I'm not love one that. of those people. But, like, I love a Madewell jacket. Yeah. I thought that was cute. Yeah. I mean, it's really nice. But... Yeah, is someone's gonna love this jacket. It just depends how much you spent on it. Yeah. <laughs> the place that I went to, for whatever reason, they never mark up cashmere. So I find cashmere sweaters there all the time. I thought this one was cute. It's Cashmere Country Club or Charter Club. I don't know why I said country. Just chart, yeah. Charter Club's 100% cashmere. And this is also like a little <sighs> camo, just like V-neck sweater. This is very soft. Obviously, cashmere in general is just soft, but... Yeah, I thought this was, like, just cute. Like, it's a cute style. I yeah. This is, like, a like a faint camo, but, like, this is definitely something that I would wear. It's good for, like, your low-contrast girlies. Yes. I'm a, I'm a low-contrast, and so I feel like this will look really nice. Yeah. I like this. So that was, I think, like, I don't think I would definitely not have bought this personally, only because... I just, it's Charter Club, and I don't think that that's a good brand. But the yeah. fact that it's cashmere, I'm always suspicious if something's cashmere. Yeah. So, regardless, it's a cashmere sweater. Like, my gosh, that's nice. I think that I wouldn't pick it up brand either, but I was like, the style's nice, and it's cashmere. It's in really good condition. Yeah. So, that's... Okay. This next item is Free People. This was, that's for whatever cute. reason, $2.99. I think it was also 30% off. I can't remember exactly. But it's just like a three people... Free people, extra small, kind of like shawl, sweater thing. That's nice. They have like these really cute um, zip up like arm things. Oh. Like that's really adorable. Yeah, this is yeah. nice. I would have bought that. Yeah, for $2.99, I was like, all right, that's cute. I like that. But it's a heavy, it's also pretty heavy weight too. Yeah. And I think it's a nice year round piece. All right, we're down to our last item. Okay. This one also. I think I took an L on it. We're going to see how this goes. We're ending on a bad note? I, I guess. That's just the way the cards Dang. fell. It's Barefoot Dreams. No, it's good. Yeah, okay. Here's, here's the problem. And because I need to do a better job of examining things in the store, is that it's supposed, it has a zipper, but there is no, like, way to zip it. Like, the, the zipper thingy is gone. It's, yeah, so it's just going to be, like, an open cardigan. Which is still, like, great. It has this cute little hood. Here, I don't know if y'all can see Barefoot Dreams. Barefoot Dreams is good. I have bought a ton of Barefoot Dreams stuff. Really? Yeah. That stuff's expensive. I had no, this is a new brand to me, too. I was like, oh, my gosh. Well, they have the blankets that I love. I just buy a dupe but i'm obsessed yeah. now i will say the softness on this has definitely deteriorated a little bit yeah but their other this stuff, wasn't marked up like at all yeah either, so but a lot of their stuff like i saw their stuff all the time the co their little cozy light chic yeah um open cardigans yeah so people we'll love see them. we'll see it's pretty too it's fine i feel like we'll definitely be able to make our money back on it like we will make our money so back that was the last that was hood. the last item Okay, Serena. Well, I can't say I'm. I can't say I'm disappointed. I think that the our only little point of contention <laughs> might be this it might be this little jacket. But I like the jacket just aesthetically speaking, and yeah. it's, a, it's a nice piece. So I think we'll at the very least. All right. Get our what was your back. favorite item out of everything? Favorite item. Well, you know, I think it's these. I think that. Again, people don't really think that free people jeans do all that well. However, yeah. I have just sold these a lot. I do think in I gray. have sold a, a, exactly this one in denim on my Poshmark store yeah. before. I mean, these are, they're slip on. I, I mean, I love them. So I think this is my favorite because it's one of those things that I think other right. people would have just easily passed up on. Yeah. But I'm I'm glad that you didn't. And also, obviously, the fact that you got all those Judy Blue jeans <gasps> and a new brand for us to try. I mean, yeah. S59. What was it again? <laughs> Splits 59? Split? Yeah. I'm like, like why did I already forget? Yeah, I always forget. Too. I love new brands because it just gives you one more thing to add to your list yeah. up here to be Especially for. when you get them for, like, the right price. You know, if you're buying something for a couple dollars, it's kind of worth experimenting. Like, maybe you fail or maybe it goes really well for you. Right. You know, sometimes people, like, they have different brands that they prefer and different resellers will look for specific things that might not do well for us, but it might do well for them because they right. have found the right audience. So yeah, I think we're just kind of like in a very experimental 
phase. Yeah, so take all of these with a grain of salt today, Yeah. but also know that we are going to try to make some wet sold videos down the road once a yes. month of things that we're actually selling. Yeah. We had our first sale. Yes. And it was a pair of Lululemon dance ballroom pants. I've sold those a ton. They just do really well. They sold for $63. Thanks, everybody, for yes. coming. Thank to you guys our for joining us today. Especially if it lasted through like the whole video. And past intermission, like you came back after the intermission yep. with the second bag. Serena, I think you did a good job Thank today. You. For more information about like the things that we're finding throughout the week, we seriously have thrifting problems. I thrift every single day. Serena probably almost thrifts every single day. There's two thrift stores really close to my house that after work all. Yeah, Serena all likes to go thrifting a lot too. So she will be posting a lot of content on Instagram. So find us on Instagram at, what is it? Um, uh, traveled textiles it's t-x-s-t-y-l-e-s -E yes. on instagram there'll be a link in our uh, youtube page we'll too put, so. yeah serena's gonna put a i'll link. put it in the bio so y'all can <laughs> serena's our tech girl and so she's gonna be doing that so you guys can see more hauls of the kind of stuff that we're finding on a more frequent basis and then you'll also be able to check out our poshmark store if there was anything that you were thinking you'd like to be at your house yep we'll get it to you yeah we're awesome. reasonable Thank you, everybody. Yes, thank you guys for watching. Bye. Until next time, subscribe. Please. Thanks. <laughs> That's good. <laughs>